Moving on with our key setup, the next bit is going to be to add some behavior when we touch these keys. So we'll start off with any one of them. Just fly over to any key that tickles your fancy. Grab it, and let's jump over into Kismet. And it'll come down right underneath our little key spinning action here. And let's right-click, grab New Event. Actually, let's do a new event using Interpactor 2. And we'll just do a Touch Event. Just be easier to set up that way. All right, now we're going to do two things. One, we're going to toggle our light to be off. Then we're going to toggle the visibility of the key to be off as well. So let's do that first. We'll just right-click, come to New Action, Toggle, and just do a basic toggle for the light. So on Touched, turn off. Now we need to grab our light, so we'll close Kismet for a minute. We'll grab our light, open Kismet, right-click, and add the object. Now we need to toggle off visibility for the key. So we'll right click again, grab new action, toggle, and do a toggle hidden. Choose hide, plug that into touch, and now we just need to grab our key. Make sure we get the right one, which I'm going to do just by selecting it here in the viewport so that I make sure it's the proper one. Right click on the target input and create a new object variable for it. So cool, we are now switching off the visibility of our key, which is exactly what we want. Now we can go ahead and set up uh, the same system for our others as well. So let's do this real quick. Let's just grab all of these actors. And I'm going to hit Control C, scroll down a bit, hit Control V, scroll down a little bit, hit Control V. So I've just made three total copies. However, the events need to be updated, and of course the variables need to be updated as well. Now to do this, let's just pick on our next group of keys and lights and whatnot. We'll start off by selecting the key. Let's jump into Kismet once again. Now, notice that we have Interp Actor 2 Touch. Right click on this event and choose Assign Interp Actor 0 to Event. So that fixes that. We can also do the same thing here with the variable. We can assign Interp Actor 2 to the variable, or Interp Actor 0, excuse me. So now, We've got the appropriate interp actor set up. We just need to grab the light, come back over here, and we can assign the point light toggleable. So now I need to do the same thing down here. So let's jump back up to the viewport. Now where'd that key go? It's over here. We'll select it, right click on our touch event, and assign the interp actor. We'll also assign that to the variable. And then we need to grab the light as well. And right click. Assign to variable. Okay, so now everybody should be switching off. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to test this. So we'll jump into the level. And I'll quickly run around. And oh, the light disappeared, and so did the key. That's excellent. And oh, the light disappeared, and that's also excellent. And the light disappeared again. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So with that tested, let's go ahead and save the level, and then we will continue on with our key behavior after this. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 